Welcome to San Francisco's G News. We bring you all the LGBTQ plus top stories from around the world. So join me, Celsa Dulé, and my guest co-host every week where we spill the G on the regular. This week on G News, it's, it's our, our holiday, holiday special. special. Yay! We love the holidays. And this year, you should swap your holiday music for show tunes. We'll tell you why. A holiday queer special by Hallmark? Hmm. Edie Devine is back with a must-bake holiday cake. Plus, legs up, our crush of the week, and out and about. Get all of your gay in just one day. Right here on G News. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to our holiday special. We have a very special person here to spike the eggnog <laughs> with us, the fantabulous Cameron Steele. I am always here for some <laughs> holiday cheer. <laughs> Happy yeah. holidays. Happy holidays. So I saw on, on Facebook, social media, that's how we all stay in touch. <laughs> Stalking, yes. Right, that you have two Christmas trees. I do, I do. Explain. Because, <laughs> okay, I will explain. Um, my son, Corin, is very, very excited about Christmas. Now that he gets it, it took him a while to get it, but now that he gets it, he gets it. I think and he likes it even more than me. He is all about it. He'll start asking for Santa Claus in about July. <laughs> so I have a little Christmas tree that's his tree. That right. sits right next to his little chair, and it's his little thing. And he can put it out whenever he wants. I've, I've seen it around. randomly throughout the sure, year. Sure, yeah, March, just, whatever. And it's you come fun. to see it there. It's just there. It's, it's just tree. there. It's, yeah. I think it adds some nice ambient light as well, so I don't mind having it up whenever. Yes. But we have to wait until the right time to put up the big tree. Yeah, the real which he deal. Visits, it's a fake tree, and so he visits it in the closet. He opens up the closet door and says, hi, tree! So which cute. is really cute. So I, I let him put it up um, was it think, I think it was Thanksgiving Thanksgiving, Day. yeah, that's when yeah. I saw it. Yeah. And then I, I gave it a minute to get dressed. But so yeah, we have the two trees. One's for the rest of us and one's just for him. So cute. And now he's like saying happy ho happy holidays or he's Merry saying, Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Walking around the house. There's nobody there but us, but it's fine. He's opening closets <laughs> looking for gifts. Yep. Smart kid. He is. He's so good. He is on this holiday. He he's is so cute. Santa Claus. and Any other traditions that you do for the holiday season? Uh, we have a lot. Um, my dad always comes to visit. Yes. Obviously. And we spend time Bomb ass. <laughs> Dad is a lot of fun. He's awesome. <laughs> Dad can put away more of this stuff than I can. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and other things. Puts me to shame, yeah. <laughs> Does, uh, he's, last year he got in trouble with the fireball shots. Oh, yeah. Well, those do sneak up on you. They, they really do. Yeah. <laughs> so Dad will be here. He'll cook, which is great. Um, enchilada night. Everything chili. We'll have enchilada night. And we're going to make a new tradition this year, Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Right? So we just made plans before we started taping. Literally right here on set. <laughs> right here, right now. Uh, we're going to go to Cam's house for enchilada night. Yes. And then on Boxing Day, everyone's going to come here and I'm going to cook and do something for Boxing Day. I'm so excited. That's going to be fun. I know. I love it. It's my birthday month. Might so. as well celebrate the whole month. Right. Corin's birthday month as well. His week his, uh, birthday is a week before yours. Oh, right. So, yes. Yeah. We'll Capricorn's party the whole in the house. Month. Yeah. So well, we have a tradition where we buy... Um, when we first got together, we've got our very first tree. We decided not to put any just like random ornaments on it. That every year we were going to buy each other an ornament Aww. and put it on the tree. And then that's so that's sweet. the only thing is on the tree is the the ornaments that we bought each other, Aww. or like if my mom has given us one or somebody gives us one. But otherwise, yeah. That's great. Yeah, so that's our little church. Now it's full. And we're running out of room. <laughs> <laughs> so you have all those memories though. To go yeah. Remember the year we got this? Yeah, yeah I love sweet. it. Sweet, I love that. So, um, well, thank you guys for watching. We're super, super happy that you're here to enjoy the holiday special with us. If you're watching us on social media, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but please don't forget to visit us at glitterbombtv.com, especially because our store is launching the 20th of this month. Oh, yes, yay. I know we've been teasing you about the store, <laughs> but we're busy bitches. The store we where have you things can get to do. Something like this. Yes. Like this. Like these. Yes. We are glitter. These are definitely going to be on there. And a bunch of other stuff. We've partnered with um, our friend Michaela with Aqua Boogie um, Art. So she's going to have some of her artwork, original artwork, um, on bags and hats and things. And you're going to want to check it out. So glitterbombtv.com nice. at the Glitterworthy store. Last minute shopping. Yes. <laughs> Lots of stocking stuffers. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and Hanukkah gifts. Don't forget Hanukkah. Oh, right. Of course. You ready to get to the news? I am. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Now, I love, love, love holiday music. Yeah. Actually, I love everything holiday. I think maybe because <laughs> December is my birthday month. I don't know. But anything and everything holiday I love, except the sweater. <laughs> I am oh, are you dying in dying. the sweater? It's so hot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shimmy out of it. 
As you sing a show tune. Show tunes, show tunes. yes. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs> well, the holidays, why do you think the holidays are so special? I mean, we just, everyone is in it together, I think is the biggest thing, is we all just chuck all the responsibilities and everything to the side just to focus on the holiday spirit. Yeah. The music, the lights, the food, the drinking, the, you know, it's just all, everyone seems to be celebrating at this time of year together. Yeah. No matter where you are or what you're doing, it's like a universal thing. And I think that that, that energy all working together brings brings that specialness to yeah. the time. I think the people that are kind of negative towards like holiday music and, and holiday stuff, it's because it just keeps starting earlier and earlier and earlier true. every year. They're like, Ganug, can it just wait until December? <laughs> yeah. um, but um, so holiday music specifically sometimes gets on people's nerves. It's yeah. everywhere. It's all over the place. But so, you know, if it's driving you to want to self-medicate, <laughs> <laughs> then you might want to consider singing show tunes instead. Right. Now we think singing show tunes is good for everyone, anytime, anywhere, but there was a study from George Mason University that found that singing show tunes boosted the brain function of people with Alzheimer's. Patients who had sung show tunes scored higher on cognitive and drawing tests. They even scored high on a satisfaction with life questionnaire. Jane Flynn, a neuroscientist with George Mason, says that memory loss and a decline in brain function are hallmarks of dementia. Patients often demonstrate a striking ability to remember the lyrics and melodies of songs from their past. When they start singing, it can revive those memories. I love this study. Um, well, one, it's helping people with Alzheimer's, which right. you know, is, is an awful disease, and I hope they find a cure for it sometime soon. Um, but I, it kind of makes sense. Like, there's other things that trigger memories, like you smell something or you hear a song and it takes you right back to prom or whatever, you know, <laughs> right. or whatever. And so I think it's like singing could kind of, you rem remember those, the songs and the lyrics in that time, but it, I'm thinking it might help you with other memories that are... Triggering those other memories, yeah. And yeah. wouldn't that be great? It'd be awesome. Can you, I mean, Alzheimer's, it'd be terrible to just start forgetting who you are and your Honestly, life. Honestly, I'm and... already starting to forget things <laughs> real bad. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not talking about car keys. <laughs> oh, everything, though. Just like, I was talking to someone at, a, at the party the other night, and she was like, oh, remember the first time we came here, and we did this thing, and we had this thing? And, you're and like, I was just like, not a clue. Girl, don't know what you're talking about. Do I know you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it sounds like it was a great time. But yeah, I mean, if singing show tunes yeah. can help slow down that decline, I'm all I for love it. that. And so you, so you should have just started singing a show tune with your friends. Exactly. So the, the favorites, though, that came out of this the study uh, were Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Always and a good one. The Sound of Music. Always great. Oh my gosh, there's this, there's the Sound of Music sing-along they do at the Castro here. Right. So much fun. That, that one's always very popular. That and The Little Mermaid. But if you want to go to the Castro for show tunes, you got to go to The Edge on Mondays, <sighs> yes. Musical Mondays, Musical Wednesdays, and I think maybe Sundays too. I don't Every day is a sing-along there. Every day is basically a show tune sing-along there. <laughs> it's also because it's not like karaoke where they... Everyone takes a turn and sings. They no. literally just blast this stuff. They put the videos up and videos everyone all sings. all around and everyone sings together, <laughs> which is, again, that universal celebratory awesome. energy. Everyone's singing these show tunes together. It is amazing how many people know the words to musicals I've never even seen. But they're like, building it on. So I was just going to say, <laughs> I just had a thought. So if you remember the song, but what if you always had the lyrics wrong? <laughs> Would you remember the wrong <laughs> lyrics? Sing the wrong lyrics, it's fine. <laughs> as long as you're singing, I'm sure it's fine. I love it. <laughs> Let's face it, singing seems to be good for the soul. So whether it's a holiday song or a show tune, we say grab that mic and sing, sing out, Louise. The Hallmark Channel is famous for its countdown to Christmas holiday specials. Full of holiday rom-con schmaltz. <laughs> right? So true. But let's face it, it's really, really straight. straight. Like, Sis, terminally. Straight. <laughs> Very much so. But... What if Hallmark made a queer holiday special? Ooh, Ooh. Arr. Yeah. Right? Well, that's exactly what The Hollywood Reporter asked Hallmark CEO Bill Abbott, and he said, we're always encouraging people to bring us stories across the board. It's certainly something that we do discuss consistently with our team. He also shared that the reason that they haven't gotten to one of those stories yet is because people keep offering them bad scripts. Really? That's his, that's his excuse. I thought that's what they were using I for most of Right? Those. Have you watched your programming, Mr. <laughs> Abbott? It's pretty bad scripts. But it <laughs> might want to mix it up a little right. bit. Right. <laughs> Maybe you're getting 
good scripts and you don't want to change the mix there too much. Yeah. No, but not, not to bash on Hallmark, but the let's talk about the right wing because when they hear something like this, when the Hallmark Channel is considering doing an LGBTQ show of any sort, they think the sky is falling because they can't possibly sit and eat their Chick-fil-A while they watch their straight white cisgender holiday show with a bunch of queers in the mix. I mean, they can't possibly be inclusive. How unchristian. Totally unchristian <laughs> to have all those gays in our holiday It's really show. not. You know there are gay Christian families too, right? <laughs> Plenty of. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's crazy. All. It's so, not not family friendly. What is yeah. not family friendly is hate. Is the hate part? Yeah. All the bad comments, all the they don't belong in our community kind yeah. of. Yeah. The 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 hate, of course, they're everywhere. The stupidity and the hate is out there, and so yeah. people have already been chiming in and saying, "Leave Hallmark alone. It's the only bastion of not queerness." <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're taking over the world. <laughs> taking over your Hallmark channel. Oh my gosh. God forbid. You know, we can all live together. In peace. It's true. And harmony. It's true. And if you don't like that holiday show, you can just switch it. Like I do when I have to watch your cis white straight holiday programming. <laughs> I go, ooh, and then change it. Just kidding. I love holidays. So that is the real question, right? right? Will the LGBTQ plus community actually watch a schmaltzy mm. Hallmark gay show? I think, yes. First of all, we do like the schmaltz. We love <laughs> quite schmaltz. A bit. And if they can see a representation of themselves yeah. in these kinds of specials and rom-coms and all right. that, like, yeah, I think the viewership could only increase. That's what I was thinking because um, I remember a time when I would even just look for like a, a birthday or holiday card mm -hmm. and I didn't see myself represented as a person of color, right. you know? And then um, commercials. Yeah. There was hardly any Asians or anybody other than just white people, maybe some black people. Maybe. Right? There weren't, you know. The token. It, it, yeah. <laughs> the token POC. Unless it's Daisy Sour Cream, which still to this day only features white people in their commercials. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. I've been watching you for I years. <laughs> Put some color in there. <laughs> Mexicans, Brazilians, Middle Eastern people, hey. Jewish people, Asian people. We all love sour cream. <laughs> well, it doesn't love you back. But apparently Daisy says you just have to be happy and white to eat yeah. Daisy Sour Cream. <laughs> that was my Daisy Sour Cream rants. <laughs> Nothing to do with the Hallmark Unusual, Channel. But that's okay. But so we agree that, that we would watch it. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I have, a, I have an ex who uh, used to love like the Lifetime Channel. Oh, really? Yeah. And you know, schmaltzy. Lifetime is schmaltzy. It's just like yeah. it's just like Hallmark. And he really super loved Touched by an Angel. Do you remember that show? <laughs> I do vaguely. Yeah, yeah, you don't get more like schmaltzy Christian <laughs> than the Touched by an Angel. You've been touched by an angel. Wow. Yeah, I would come from the kitchen and walk in and he'd have like he'd be teary eyed. Crying? I'm like, did you watch Aww. Touched by an Angel again? <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> you know who you are, I won't say your name, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read it. I read it. Send Robert some tissues. So they send him some tissues and the full collection season of, uh, <laughs> of Touch by an Angel. Touch by an angel. <laughs> Maybe they'll start repeating them on, on Hallmark. There you go. I don't know. Anyway, so we, we say, Mr. Abbott, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring on some uh, we'll schmaltzy gay shows on Hallmark. I think it'd be a good thing. Yeah, like 10% just to represent the population. That's all. <laughs> I think that number is totally fake. Oh, it totally is. We're does. way more than 10%. Yeah. Sorry, haters. <laughs> we are everywhere. And guess what? We're not going anywhere. Nope. The holidays are never complete without food, especially dessert. Yes! <laughs> yeah, bring it on. <laughs> now, we've had our resident Edie Crocker on set Aww. before. She's made um, cupcakes for us and Santa's whiskers and... Oh. Um, uh, ginger, uh, cream filled ginger bottoms. Ooh, that yeah. sounds good. <laughs> they were like carrot cake stuff with this cr ginger cream. I was. <sighs> that sounds amazing. If you've been watching this show, you know that Edie is the master when it comes to baking and confections and all kinds of sugary sweets and treats. Nice. Well, we have a very super extra special episode because we got to get um, meet up. We always go to, to Las Vegas to visit my family oh. and her family. And so we got together while we were in Vegas and we did a little baking special. Ooh. Yes. Can't wait to see. Check it out. Nothing says holla gaze like dessert. And if you want the best, most amazing desserts, then you're going to want our guest in your kitchen. Joining us today is the queen of confection, 
Edie Devine. Hi everyone, happy holidays. So you have been on set twice before. Yes. Yes. The first time we made Santa's Whiskers. We did. The second time we made Cream Filled Ginger, ginger Bottoms. <laughs> I, I know you love those. I love those for lots of reasons. <laughs> my, one of my favorites. This is a very special episode today though because we, um, well one, we have a full kitchen. Look at this set. It's, oh amazing. it's amazing. We have room. We have an oven, we have counter. It's real. We have real things. Um, the reason that we have this is because every year we meet in Las Vegas. We're coming to you from Las Vegas because we both have family here. We do. So we've been doing this tradition where we get together and we uh, have Thanksgiving dinner. We've been doing it for how long now? I think this was the eighth year. Eighth year. So it's officially a tradition. Well, we did it before a couple times um, back in the Bay Area. Right. Before right. we migrated south. Before we had this fabulous kitchen exactly. to work Exactly. So now we're here and this is what we do. Uh, we want to thank Jim and Bev for the use of their wonderful kitchen. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And um, another thing we have to plug that there are, there are muffin heads. I call them muffin heads. They're dogs. There's One three, yeah, there's three that you could wander onto set. So if you see them, they are not fake Hollywood illusions. They're real. They're equity actors. They're real, <laughs> real equity actors. That's right. They get paid in biscuits. It's all good. <laughs> So what are we making this time? We had whiskers, we had bottoms. Now what are we going? To I say, I say for the holidays, we let them eat cake. Cake! Oh, muffins. There's a muffin. Told you the muffin. So we're gonna have cake. Yes. You know what my favorite cake is? Do tell. Butt cake. Uh salsa. I think you mean bunt cake. Do I? Hmm. We're making a delicious eggnog maple bourbon bun cake. No buts about it. With all of the flavors of the holiday season, plus bourbon. Bourbon, bourbon makes everything better. Absolutely. Yes. But Celso, yes. whenever you bake, you need an apron. This is true. We could go put aprons on like, you know, normal everyday people, but mm. we're not, we are extra. So extra. So how are we gonna put? Aprons on. Well, we're fortunate because during the holidays, yes. we have magic wands. Woo! A pink little magic wand. How does it work? So I have to tell you that just like baking, it doesn't take much. Okay. Okay. So be judicious. Okay. Should I show you? Yes. Okay. Just like this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I love that. A little apron will do a lot. I Apparently. Okay, do me, do me, do me. Are you sure? Yes. Just takes a touch. Okay. Ooh, oh, ooh. Amazing, huh? Ooh, ooh, Just hey. a little dabble. <laughs> Just a little dabble. Got cut. earrings. I, thank you. That mm -hmm. is a quite a magic wand. Mm -hmm. Some fabulous wandage there. We might have to feature that in our store. Mm. Glitter worthy. <laughs> Great. Well, now that we're armed with fabulous fashions. Indeed. Where do we start? We start with creaming our butter. Oh, butter. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was already there. <laughs> I know. I know. So we're going to take some butter. Okay. And we're going to put it on our mixer. Whoop. So we're going to have this down below. So how much yes. butter? Uh, it's three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup of butter. If you can get it down here. Yeah. Of course we can, we've got spatula. I know. We've got brown sugar. First you have to loosen up the butter a little bit. Okay. You gotta get it creamy. Just, all you tops know what to do. <laughs> loosen that butter up a little bit. Sorry for the noise. It's okay, it's a mixer. That's right. Yes. So once it's mixed up a little bit, yeah. you're gonna add a cup and a half of brown sugar. Okay. I had to think about that. Cup and a half of brown sugar. Brown sugar. 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 <laughs> Why brown sugar instead of white sugar? It's, yeah, it's the consistency, but it's also the molasses. It makes it a little bit sweeter. Okay. It's like a deeper sweet. Yeah. So you'll get it nice and creamy okay. and happy. Make everyone happy. What speed are we on? We're on four. We're on four. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now that we have this, scrape it down a little bit, because now we have Ooh, now we have the eggs. Okay. Now you're supposed to add them three. one at a time. Okay. But there are three eggs, 
So do the best you can. I would advise not to cut the egg or crack the eggs right into the bowl so as to shell. avoid shell. You don't want shellage. No. So it's like leakage. Just add a little at a time and mix it up. Okay. You want to do one more? Sure. You can do you it. Want me to do one? You can do it. Can you do one? Oh, wait. Oh. Ah. There you go. Hey. You're a pro. <laughs> you don't need me. It was the wand. That's right. <laughs> it may be a baker. <laughs> and the last one. And the last one. Ta-da! Ta-da! And then while this is blending, we'll add a tablespoon of vanilla. Tablespoon of vanilla. Mmm. Mm. I love vanilla. Yummy. Yeah. Go right in. Go right in there? Yep. Right in there. Just as easy as that. All right. Yummy. So we'll scrape this down. And you okay. want to grab the dry ingredients. Yes. And we'll get those going. Okay. Magic of television. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dry. All right. So. Well, we can't let the butter and the sugar and the eggs have all the fun. No. So, so this is what kind of flour? That's just regular all-purpose flour. Okay. AP, did we sift it or is it just right out of the bag? You know, I'm a pretty simple girl. <laughs> just, just get right to it. Right out of the bag. That's right. I love it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of, oh, okay. of mix to it yes. so that it disperses evenly. So we have uh, a tablespoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg. An equal amount of cinnamon. And then a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda, not soda. powder. Not powder. Soda. Soda. Okay. Baking then, sodas, also good for your teeth. That's right. We're then <laughs> gonna mix this up, and we're gonna add a little bit at a time. Okay. Now you don't wanna over mix it, you just want it to blend. Because it yeah. could blow up. Well, it could blow up and Ruin also- Ruin your fashion. Well, true, but equally important is if you over mix it, it'll be tough. Oh, okay. And you don't want your cakes tough. Because the, the it'll start getting glutinous. Right. right? There's enough gluten in here. You don't want tough cakes. You want soft, That's tender right. cakes. <laughs> and if you can add me the... Oh, add yes. Me the, we have... Oh, the... Uh, the guests of honor. It's the magic not me. ingredient. That's right. So we're going to take a cup of eggnog. Eggnog. Which, for those of us who are also lactose intolerant, they do make this with lactose. Yes, food, they important. have like fake nog. They That's have different right. kinds of eggnogs. And... I go a little heavy. <laughs> That's why I love you, Edie. <laughs> uh, and a quarter cup of bourbon, and you mix them together. Ooh, just oh, like that, okay. Like magic. I didn't. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're never prepared. <laughs> Not on the and baking then, segment. No. <laughs> and then you just pour it in. Little by little. Little by little. Okay. Until everyone gets happy because there's because of the bourbon. <laughs> Bunch pan. If you don't know what bun pan looks like, this is a bun pan. This is a bun pan. Um, even if it is a non-stick bun pan, we want to make sure that we spray it. Okay. So. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I, I, thinking I, of the other practical purposes for this spray. Hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you get the cone in the middle as well as the outside okay. so that it doesn't stick. So you like this over buttering? Definitely. Well, and then flour. I've seen the flour shake the flour and do all that business. I'm a simple girl. Okay, again, simple girl. So I, like it. I, I take it. I, I take the easy route when I can. Spray the. That's right. Spray, spray the pan. Spray it. Okay. You can if you if you have no spray, you can certainly grease it and put flour in it. It just makes a mess. And the point is to make it not stick. Correct. Because we're gonna. Flip this puppy over later, and you don't want it to stick. You're gonna flip your bunt over. There's no. <laughs> so you just put it in your form and try Ooh. to uh, see how. Oh my goodness, puppy! Ivan's excited. See, we even got the dog's attention there with that. That's right. Okay. Oh, everybody likes a bunt cake. That's right. Get as much out of the pan as you or, can. Or a butt cake. <laughs> Just like that. So this is interesting. I wanna I wanna show. It's not all the way full. No. It's like at the bottom there, so it's gonna rise. It will rise, that's the soda. And just smooth it out just a little. Okay. So that it will bake evenly. 
And then we're gonna put it in the Fingers oven. are acceptable tools in the kitchen and elsewhere. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. Just like that. Nice. And then we stick it in the oven. And we stick it in the oven. So what, what degree of an oven? Uh, 325. Okay. And then right in there. Yeah, we don't have to preheat it? Well, it's supposed to be preheated. Okay. okay. Pretend it's preheated. Magic of television, it's preheated. A uh, preheated 325 degree oven. Correct. For how long? 75 minutes. 75 minutes. But my secret. Ooh. This is only for your listeners. Okay. Halfway through, I rotate. Oh. You gotta turn it 180 degrees to mix things up. Oh. You wanna make sure it's baked evenly. Okay. So by turning it halfway through, you'll have an even baking. I did not know I did not know that. There you go. Yeah. So in 30 minutes. It's not a microwave, it doesn't rotate in the oven by itself. No. no. <laughs> for those of you that cook like this. Yeah. Okay, so halfway through. Halfway through, I just turn it. Okay. 180 degrees and put it back in for another 30 minutes. Sounds good. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. This happy is holidays. What you, happy holidays. This is what you do while you wait for cakes to bake. Mm. Speaking of, I think it's done. Oh. Shall we? Yes. Alright. So, carefully, because it's going to be hot. Woo! And that. Oh my gosh. If only they had smell a vision. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells amazing. So we're just gonna set this on a heat resistant surface for about 20 minutes so that it'll finish setting. Cause it's gotta cool. It's gotta cool. It's gotta cool. And we'll turn off our oven. Otherwise it would melt everything you're gonna put on it, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, so. This is the, This is like a glaze? It's a glaze, like, okay. right. And so it's, um, Cup of cup of powdered sugar. Cup of powdered now sugar. Now I don't remember. A cup of powdered sugar. <laughs> the recipe. It's really it's sugar, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> fortunately for you, the recipe is down below. Yes. Um, and then a tablespoon of vanilla. Ooh, more oh, vanilla. Oh, oh sorry. So this, is like... this is maple maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Okay. Not vanilla. No vanilla. Oh, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Oh, that's the maple. That's the, the maple. Okay, gotcha. Because um, we've already got the bourbon. Yes. Bourbon. And then last is the eggnog. More eggnog. Oh, so you, like a, a, a normal frosting, not a normal frosting, but another kind of uh, frosting on a bun cake, you would just do like water, lemon, and confectioner sugar right. to make like a glaze. a glaze. But now we're using that as the liquid as the eggnog. Right. Gotcha. So cake is out. Cake is out. It's cooled. I can touch it. But now we got to get it on this plate. Correct. Yes. So you can't just like take a spatula and scoop it out. I've already consulted with Edie, so I know what to do. <laughs> I know you're thinking, how does he know what to do? Top or on top. <laughs> Cut it. And then, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Did you hear it? I heard it. I heard it. Wait, scooch it. Did I do it? Voila. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Oh my God, it smells amazing. So this is the glaze that we just made. So there is no wrong way to glaze a funt cake. I think there could be wrong ways. <laughs> if you're not comfortable in the kitchen, you could just pull. You wanna kind of get it on there, right? Just have fun with it. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Have fun with it, but make sure it gets on the cake. <laughs> Or not. Oh my God, that looks great. And you want to make sure it gets on both sides. It doesn't matter if it runs down the sides or anything like that. You kind of want it to a little bit, right? It's meant to be messy. Yeah. But see how our glaze, it's easy to put on, but it doesn't just run all over the place. It still holds a bit of its form, which is important. Wow. There you go. It smells so good. Yeah. I can't... The cake and then, of course, the glaze. It's just. Smell a vision. I wish we had smell a vision. Right? That would be. Let's invent that. Let's make a gazillion dollars with smell a vision. And there you go. Wow. There you have it. That Your looks amazing. Eggnog maple bourbon bun cake. Bun cake. That's great. So, this is a normal. This is what you would normally do. This is the normal cake. But again, oh. we are extra. Hmm. Aren't we, Edie? I know you are. How would, <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> How would we gild the lily here? How would we make this extra? Hmm. 
Do you like wet nuts? Uh, on top. Well, I'm versed. Of the so. cake. Oh, the cake. On top of the cake. <laughs> nuts on the, yes, of course. Yes, wet nuts on the cake. Well. Of course, yes, I would love that. We can make some wet nuts to put with it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what we'll do is we're gonna make a traditional wet nut recipe. Okay. Which is a cup of Cairo um, simple syrup. Simple syrup. Yep. And this is gonna be on the stove. Yes. Don't just do this on the counter. Okay. Well, you can prepare it on the counter. You can do it on the counter, but yep. eventually it has to be heated. Yep. So we're gonna heat it up on the stove. Yep. Um, uh, One cup. Corn syrup. Uh, and then three tablespoons of butter. Butter. This really is vanilla. Vanilla. A tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. And then we're gonna add a cup of brown sugar. Okay. So again, all of these holidays desserts come with no calories. So <laughs> there's that too. That's the magic of the holidays. That's there's right. no calories Absolutely. in any of this. So we'll take this over to the cooktop and we'll make everyone happy, happy. Okay. And we'll be right back. So we're back. We've, we've heated this on the stove. We've gotten all of the ingredients all melted together. It is. It smells amazing. It's delicious looking. I can't wait. But we did add an we extra did. ingredient. We forgot milk. Correct. The recipe calls for milk, but we, uh, instead of adding milk just for today, we added more eggnog. Because <laughs> why not? Basically, you just need that extra liquid. Right. Right. Um, so everyone's happy in our saucepan, except for our nuts. Now our nuts are going to go into the jacuzzi. So should we make them wet? Yes. All right. Let's get them wet. So into the hot tub everyone gets to party oh my gosh and you just want to make sure that your nuts are nice and coated get those nuts wet mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go now unlike the glaze it's not going to go on top you're going to do this when you serve it right because right. as as edie said it would just make a mess <laughs> well is, in some cases, is a good thing. <laughs> yes. So let's put this over here. Careful, okay. the, the pot's hot. 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 Okay, so. Like hot. Oh my gosh. So exciting. A little piece for you. And a little piece for me. Look at that, and then the nuts. Do you want me to do it, or do you want to do it? By all means. You first. I'll, <laughs> I'll nut you first. Now there's an easy way to do this if you don't have time. Mm. All you need to do is add some maple syrup to your nuts, and you can have wet nuts anytime. Oh, so it's just coated nuts? Yeah. As long as they can coat them like this the, the long way with the butter and, uh, and everything. Or you could just do like the easy breezy way with just maple syrup. Sure. Okay, cool. All right. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Milady. Shall we? Cheers. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I want to get a little bit of that glaze and the cake. And your nuts. And my warm wet nuts. <laughs> I can't get it, I can't get it all in my, in my mouth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, that's amazing. Not oh my bad. gosh. It kind of tastes like the holidays every in every single bite. The bourbon, all of the seasoning that's in there. The oh my gosh, the maple comes through. Mm -hmm. of, of course, butter. <laughs> that is delicious. That is so good. It's not too heavy or rich. No, so. it's, it's actually not too sweet. Right. But I mean, you get all the taste of the holidays in there with the nutmeg and the cinnamon and eggnog. Oh, and the bourbon. And the bourbon. That's the kicker. Mm -hmm. That's the one that makes it. Pretty good, huh? Oh my gosh. That's delicious. There you have it. Make your holiday season extra, extra with an eggnog maple bourbon bundt cake topped with wet nuts. If you want to impress everyone this season, make this cake. We put the recipe down below, so check it out. Thank you so much, Edie. Thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Mm. I want another piece, how about you? Of course. All right. I'm going to actually finish the rest of the cake. Mm.
want to have a little more fun than normal on this Hanukkah. I always love more fun. <laughs> Pile on the fun. Yes. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then we have a gift for you. And it's a little, dare I say, unorthodox? Just a little. <laughs> From our friends at Grav Labs, we bring you the Bong Menorah. The Texas Bass Company says that they made the menorah to help stoners celebrate Hanukkah. It's a glass pipe that features eight regular stems and one big shamash. Color me a size queen, <laughs> but I love a big shamash. Who doesn't love a big shamash? This just, thing is incredible. It's so, oh, it's a lot of weed. That's all I can think <laughs> when I was watching the video. Well, I, have, I do have to say, I mean, bongs aside, it's pretty. It is pretty. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so I was picturing just because of like the tradition that you would like do a bowl a day. Right, that makes Down sense because you're making your weed last eight days. And then you have the final shema, the big shemash at the end. But he is like, in the video, he, he them all. all and does a... <laughs> I would cough for the rest of my life. <laughs> I would pass out on the menorah. <laughs> yeah, which may be the intent. <laughs> I mean... I love that they're getting it. people, even stoners, to celebrate Hanukkah. I mean, whatever it takes to get you to, the, <laughs> to drink from the fountain. <laughs> right. You can lead a horse, but you, you know... It's just like so here, well, bringing then. your religion to the masses that need it. Yes. And I'm all on board with the, with the menorah. I love it. Yeah. I'm not Jewish. Well, I don't know. I'm doing my DNA this year, so right. we'll see. I, I could have a little Jewish in me. <laughs> I know what. God, God knows I love a little Jewish in me. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> but you are actually, you found out you're Jewish. Yeah, 15%. Yes. So I figure I should have one of these menorah bongs. Right? Bong menorahs. Well, uh, maybe, you'll, maybe you'll get one this year for Hanukkah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's only $700. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe. That's a lot of money for a bong. It is. Maybe that'll come down if they there, there's more. Maybe there are more popular mass-produced bong menorahs. Right. I don't know the prices of bongs these days. I haven't bought one since. Well, I was they're a not seven hundred dollars. But I mean, well, they can. I mean, some of them are big and elaborate. They can yeah. get they can get that expensive, I guess. Like the big hookah pipes. I'm sure they're. Yeah. They're yeah. There. But it's not a menorah. Right. So. I think we want one. There you go. Yeah. It should come with some tchotchkes, too. A little dreidel. It's a dreidel, sure. <laughs> Things to play with after you're baked. After you you're know? so stoned you can't see After straight. you've celebrated Hanukkah, you need something to play with like a cat. <laughs> well, <laughs> in the words of Ann Cohen, who actually wrote the article that we found this in from the site Schmooze Your Jewish Pop Culture Fix, okay. she says, Happy Hanukkah, y'all. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, everybody. <laughs> it's that time. Let's go out and about in San Francisco. Nothing screams holidays like stripping down to your underwear and running around the neighborhood all for charity, right? Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the Santa Skivvies Run is, in their words, a one-mile fun run that raises money and awareness for the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Because of the run, the foundation is able to offer 25,000 people free health care services and support programs. That is amazing. It's totally amazing. That's a lot of people. It is a lot of people, but a lot of people participate in this too. Because yes. it's such, it's a tradition and it's so much fun and everyone just gets involved as a, and the teams, the community, all come together for this very scantily clad run. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, it's kitschy, it's fun. The, the people that show up um, run the gamut. No, no, no body shaming, but there's a lot of hot people. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's just so much fun. And everyone, the, the, the joy and the, the frivolity is in the air and, and everyone's having a good time. It doesn't matter the weather. It could be raining, it could be sunny. Yeah, they're Who out cares? there anyway. They, they don't care. They have the street party outside the bar, yeah. right? Yes. I didn't even realize that until this year. I'm terrible. I, it's early. <laughs> it's early. Yeah, so. <laughs> that, there's, there's a downside to everything in life, and that's the downside <laughs> to this is that it happens early on a Sunday morning, and that's yeah. hard for our community. <laughs> it's hard for anyone, but yeah. Because we were all out Saturday night. <laughs> Absolutely, especially during the holidays. Yeah, exactly. But it's totally worth it because it's so much fun, and it all goes to a good cause. They're trying to raise $80,000. That's their, that's their goal. And they're nearly there. They're up to 55K. That's incredible. Already. And the race hasn't even started yet. So um, good. There's one team, the Disability Team. Uh, they've already raised $13,000 themselves. That's incredible. 
incredible. One well team. done, guys. So they raise that money. So you can get a team together. You register and you can raise the money before you even race. And then once you're there at the event, you can donate. There's opportunities to donate again. And if you haven't made the race or can't get to the race because you don't live here or this is already aired past the race, <laughs> you can still donate. They have the, the, the donation open the whole month of December. So you can still go and, and give money. Just go to SantaSkivvies.run.org and you can donate there. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Just log on to SantaSkivvies.org. SantaSkivvies.run.org. Okay. Yes. We'll put that down there. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, please donate. And there, are, there's always lots of videos and pictures. And uh, it's just, it looks like an amazing it's time. It's so much fun. So um, I want to give a shout out to, to the uh, sponsors of this event. If you if you are in town and you can make it go, it's it's so much fun. Tito's Vodka. Always very supportive. Yay, we love Tito's. Thank you, Tito's. Avita uh, Pharmacy. Oh, cool. Queerty. I love Queerty. I get a lot of my news from Queerty. Thank you, guys. Uh, Sephora. Who knew? I would literally fall into a pile of dust without Sephora. So thank you, Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> and the event partner, the Lookout Bar, which literally does everything in the Castro, it seems. Yeah. It's our home away from home, and they raise money for organizations yeah. all year round. They're amazing. They're we love amazing. the owners. We love the bar. We love the staff. Thank you all um, at, Hi, at the Lookout. Thank you. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah, it's totally, it's totally worth it. And if you do go, you have to do my little secret. What's your little secret? If you don't run, like me, because that involves sweating and... First thing in the morning? I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very thankful for those that do. Yes. <laughs> I'm not one of them. But I donate, so you give the money, and then once everyone leaves to go for the run, you can find your seat at the bar. Because ah, it's empty. <laughs> stake out your claim for when they all come back. Yes. Makes sense. Because once they come back, it's packed. Yeah, yeah, imagine. yeah, and that goes all day long. It right? goes all day long. Yeah. yeah, the fun doesn't stop. So, <laughs> <laughs> see you there. <laughs> yeah, SantaSkivvies.run.org, and you can donate. Is that your heart beating? No, it's our crush of the week. If you think you've heard every Christmas song that's ever been made, and if you hear one more, you're gonna run to the roof and scream from the chimney top, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have maybe one song that you might not have heard. Yes, this is because our crushes today are serving you I've Got My Love to Keep Me Warm. Billy Porter and Adina Menzel crush it. They are so good together. I mean, they're staples of Broadway, so of course they're going to have that the the talent, but they're just they're they seem like such cool people and they're yeah. like singing together. It was amazing. They're incredible. I could listen to both of them sing all day long. Doesn't Absolutely. Matter. You know, Adina Menzel could sing the dictionary. And, and I'd it would be like, be fine. Yeah. <laughs> She's beautiful, beautiful yeah. voice. She's Everything gorgeous. She's ever I done. love her. I love her so much. And Billy Porter. Oh my gosh. Uh, he's been on Crush before. Yeah. And he's my spirit person. <laughs> Channel my inner Billy Porter all the time. <laughs> could uh, do worse. It's true because, you know, you want to be authentic, but it's scary to be authentic. You know, and so he's in my head going, girl, put those earrings on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Wear love that, that sequin shirt. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta, as Donna Sachet says, pull from within. Absolutely. You gotta, you gotta do this and, and be yourself. But it takes a little bit of shoving off the cliff there. So I love the two of them. What a great yeah. holiday thing. And a new Christmas song. I hadn't heard this one before. I've heard it before. I hadn't, I hadn't heard it before. It, just, so. it isn't as popular as some, but I'm definitely Yeah, well maybe it will be more popular now because I hope so. These two are doing it. I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> so and the video is great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole, the whole 30 Rock tree lighting thing was really cool, but having the two of them there made it really special. Because they're amazingly talented, inspirational, and keep us wanting more and more <laughs> Joy and love and fun and music and fashion, they are our crush of the week. Just, Just look, look at, at them. them. Well, that's it for our very special holiday episode of G News, where you get all of your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dule and Cameron Steele. Thank you for watching and getting all of your queer news with us here at GlitterBombTV.com. Don't forget to visit our store, Glitterworthy. Yes. Stocking stuffers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have more than just fans, obviously. Ob. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to have lots of cool stuff. You're going to want to visit GlitterBombTV.com's Glitterworthy store. From all of us at GlitterBombTV.com, happy, happy holidays. This week on G News. It's, it's our, our holiday, holiday special. special. Woo! <laughs> and I totally forgot. That one. So cool. Let's try that one more time. 
this week on G News. It's, it's our, our holiday, holiday special. special. Yay! We love the holidays. And this year you should swap your holiday to, oh god damn it. <laughs> swap your holiday music for show tunes. We'll Ooh. tell you why. Um, I forgot my line. <laughs> and this year you can swap your holiday music for show tunes. Ooh. We'll tell you why. Queer co fuck, a queer Christmas special. Jesus it's Christ. It's about show tunes, baby. I get excited. <laughs> queer Christmas special. <laughs> I just get all excited. It's the classic. Well, that's exactly what the Hollywood Reporter asked Hallmark. To <laughs> <laughs> we have a gift for you. <laughs> From our friends at Grav Labs, we have. I wasn't done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. So are we get. Are we gonna do this? Yes. Shots. Yes. Ooh, holiday shots. Celebrate. Uh-oh. Don't forget the cameraman. <laughs> Don't forget the cameraman. <laughs> gotta, gotta pay the help. Holiday tequila. For everybody but the pets. <laughs> no lime, huh? We're, re we're the real deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wimp. <laughs> That look too. Woo. 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 Seriously? Woo. Thank you. Wait. When you want more, let me know. King of the kitchen. Shot. <laughs> shot. Holly Gates. I need to be in my trailer. You got a trailer? <laughs> top Billy, baby. Action. Okay, top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sorry. That's the tequila. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Bourbon, which makes everything better, right? Right. Yeah. Of course not. I mean, but... of course not. <laughs> <laughs> and again. And again. Liberty, liberty, jewel. I need more tequila. <laughs> we put the recipe down below. So, oh, I fucked it up. Sorry. Too much maple syrup on my lips. Another tequila. I got stuck. But it did. Yeah.